Road signs are so confusing. Like, hidden intersection? Why hide it and then tell people it's there? And runaway truck lanes? I understand carpool lanes, but why encourage people to drive a runaway truck? Isn't that what killed Wiley Coyote? <laughs> Mimi, don't you just love him? Well, not him. The other guy, the meat meat guy. Chicken. How old are you? I'll be 17 in three years. As long as I don't get in that runaway truck lane, huh? You can't drive. Duh, that's why I'm here. Can you drive? No, mm -mm. See, so how do we do it? Miss. Deborah Carnegie Cameron DeLong. You can't get a license at 14. But I need one for my business. It's called Big Flying Pony. I thought of the name when I was six. And I promised myself that's what I call it. You can't break a promise to a six-year-old girl, right? Yeah. I don't know exactly what it'll do, but I do know I'll need a fleet of those trucks with my picture on them like this. But for now, just a car. Maybe with one of those rack things on the roof. What are they called? Rack, roofy, carry thingies? Is this a reality show? I'm not like everyone else. When the world says left, I go right by myself. Look out, cause here I come. I'm D-E-B-R-A, rocking to my own drum. Cause I'm just me. what I look like when I'm excited. So we just transferred to this new school, Campfield High, and so far it's great. Even though I was unfairly defenestrated from driver's ed. Not really, because that means throwing someone out a window. But isn't it a cool word? Anyway, the reason I'm so excited is I realized my dream of launching my own company. We're gonna plan entertainment events, make amazing things happen, and totally improve people's lives. And I found the perfect partner. He's smart, he plays guitar, plus he's cute, which any owner of a major business will tell you doesn't hurt. Thank you! Oh yeah! Nice. So, Preston, what do you think for the talent show tonight? I tell a few jokes to charm the babes, <laughs> Brud juggles while playing the drums. Quick, hand me the sticks. You do a little magic, and then we rip through a rockin' tune to seal the deal. Near, 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 near. I don't know, Ozzy, I mean, I'd like to do the talent show, but I'm thinking maybe next year, when I'm really ready. Did you see that glass? It was totally hanging in midair. I've heard of a rope beer float, but that's just amazing. Skippy Liberty, you must be the famous kids in this school. Skippy Liberty? Yeah, we're super famous. <laughs> Are you a brother's band? Could I have all your autographs? Make it out to Deborah. Wow, look at all this. You've got, you've got music and, and magic tricks. Does your deaf speak English or just pigeon? What are you talking about? Uh, I'm Ozzy. I'm the leader of the band when Preston's sick. Just, uh, smile like you know me. This is like being backstage before a big show. No, we just goof around in here with music stuff and magic stuff. <gasps> Lumpy turtles, a big red button! Don't, Don't touch, touch that! that! Why, what does it do? Five seconds! Abandoned your friend! I'll put you out! Put on the drill! Stay calm! I've never seen a principal panic that much. So my parents are in Bolivia studying fire ants, and my grandma switched me to this school because it's closer and she doesn't like to drive. Well, mostly other people don't like her to drive, and that's one of the reasons I'm getting a jump start in driving lessons. Are you hearing all right? You're not saying very much. I was waiting for you to breathe. It could be worse. We're just streamery and foamy. We're not turned into zombies. What? You know. I have never said this to a girl before, but could you please leave me alone? Oh, chicken fingers, it's Dancy Cologne. Oh. <laughs> DeLong. <clears throat> Miss Cologne. Do you go to her weirdo school? I'm Preston Lumford. 
I'm in five of your classes. I transferred. You'll be seeing a lot of me. Um, no, I won't. But I love the new look. It's so you. Look what I have in my purse. Goodness. It's my certificate for winning the third grade spelling bee. Now let's see. Who did I beat out for that? You carry that around in case you run into her. The trophy's just too big. Oh, of course. You should stick around. After you go through the truck wash, Dancy and the Dancy Ets are gonna kill it at tonight's talent show. Too bad you can't be in it, cause you've never had any talent. Oh well, bye-bye. Oh yeah? You must be our warm-up act. Cause um, I booked the headliner. So I guess my dynamite act and I will see you there and beat you and stuff. <laughs> what headliner has the nerve to follow hot babes and rock music? You, of course. What did you say your name was again? I am actually afraid to tell you. We've got to do it, bud. God, I'm Ozzy. I mean, the talent show's only once a year. Annual. We can't do the band without Preston. I mean, he's probably in jail by now. I'll miss him. Something simple. A goat hypnotism. Ah, too messy. Short swallowing. I have trouble just swallowing vitamins. I got it. A daring two-person onstage Houdini escape. Wow. From what? Follow me. <laughs> Why are you following me? Because you're interesting. I've noticed sometimes interesting people can't see their own interesting Austin. Luckily for you, you have me to see it for you. Okay, why is it so important to you that I be in the talent show anyway? I mean, I would love to do it, but when I'm prepared. Preparation's way overrated. Did you know you can't even drive a big rig in this country until you're 16? Bungie niblets? Great furniture. That's not furniture. My dad's a cop, he brings his work home with him. Good news is you can make a riot at a red light in the living room. <laughs> oh, this is cute. My dad won that at a carnival. Cost him 800 bucks and quarters. Gabs? Tape. Oh, tape. Yeah, looks like we got three quarters of a thumb. I'd say male between 20 and 45, unemployed, loner. Sign vandals don't stand a chance with you on the case, Jack. Oh, I love you like leftover pizza, Gabby. Hmm. Now, who's that with Preston? A girl. With any luck, she'll help bring that smart, sensitive boy out of his social shell. Like you did for me. Oh. If you were a ten-year-old boy, would you sit on this by mistake? Maybe. Monkey toothpaste? Is this more police evidence? No. <clears throat> this is my magic production box. Check it out. Someone from the audience goes into the top of the box, right? I close the lid, say the magic words, and wham! <laughs> a tiger leaps out. I totally expected to see a tiger. And you also play music. You're going to be a total hit at the talent show. <laughs> Deborah, I don't have a tiger. I don't have the greatest amp. I don't even have a rabbit to pull out of a hat. I gotta rent Mr. Bounce along for my sister Gracie just to practice. Very mystical. That'll be five dollars. Aren't there things you want to do that you haven't done yet? Sure. I want to skydive, travel the world. Parasailing would be fun. I want to perform someday for a screaming crowd. Someday. Preston, big secret. There's no such thing as someday. Life's just a whole bunch of todays. And look, just so happens to be today, right now. Do you think those girls in the audience are gonna get excited over Dancy with their me, 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 me? The correct answer is no. They're gonna wanna see a cute guy doing cool stuff. They'll think I'm cute? So what's the deal with you and Dancy? Did her mirror tell her you were the fairest in the land? You're funny. We actually used to be best friends.
catching tadpoles, always releasing them on their own reconnaissance, making mud pies, and then she got popular and turned inexplicably evil. I've noticed that happens to some girls. You're very different from her. In fact, you're very different from everyone. Maybe that's it. Principal Ridge, please. We need him to sign this talent show entry form thingy. Why do you even have this? I already knew about dancing the talent show because it's number 128 on our blog. Reasons I'm better than Deborah DeLong. Oh, Welcome oh, to my site, now in his third year. Reason number 128. Soon I'll be winning the school talent show. And DeLong, she'll be in the I have no talent show. I think she could win that. She has 127 other reasons? She's prettier than me, she's taller than me. You're supposed to say no way she's prettier than you. She has smaller feet than me. If I could play one small part in upstaging her tonight, it would make me so happy. Irresistible pleading smile. Oh, he is? Okay, Deborah DeLong, big flying pony. That's gonna be my company. Don't worry, I know how to do this. I've seen a bunch of movies. Just like I know how to drive if some uptight pencil pusher would. Oh, oh, he is? Okay, thank you. We'll contact him there. <clears throat> Deborah, wait. You seem like a very nice girl in a strange, scary sort of way. And I wish you all the best, really. But after what happened this morning, I really don't think it's a good idea to go to Principal Ridge's house. Don't be silly. We're not going to his house. He slipped on that psh, fiery phone. He's in the hospital with a concussion. A what? Hey, wait a second. Yes, my name's Deborah Cameron Carnegie DeLong. I was wondering if your company leases tigers. Oh, and do you sell tiger-eating people insurance? Hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Ozzy and Bud had the sense to run away from you. But I'm still here. Why am I still here? Because you're fulfilling your dreams. Die, yes, it does. Most people dream too small. Not you, of course. You have magic and music and boxes full of ferocious animals. You just haven't done anything about your dreams because, well, you haven't had a helper to see the big picture. Ta-da, here I am. Hey, what's that on your shirt? This is Florida Ward. They're the Beatles of Holland. They've been together 30 years, 31 years in September, and they've had more hits in the Netherlands than anyone else in history. And some of their albums have charted as far away as Finland. You're a treasure trove of information. Don't you realize what we can accomplish? Oh, sure. Blowing up classrooms, hospitalizing the principal. We're unstoppable. Hi. We're only allowing family and hospital personnel to see Mr. Ridge at this time, okay? Sorry, Deborah. If there was any way I could help you get on that stage and get back at Dancy, I would. But... We can't miss with this. Thanks to last year's school play, we got this baby. Wow, what is it? A donut shop. No, it, it's a cage, what do you think? So, we get a big fake lock. We both step inside. We close the gate. Look. We ask a beautiful volunteer. Two. Better, two beautiful volunteers to come on stage and tell us their cute names. Hi, I'm Dee Dee. Hi, I'm Connie. I'm Brad. <laughs> and Dee Dee and Connie throw a sheet over the cage. Drum roll. <laughs> when the girls. I'm Dee Dee and Connie. <laughs> right? When they whip off the sheet, we're outside the cage. <laughs> the crowd cheers. The girls go, oh, you're so brave. Kiss us and stuff. <laughs> they follow their feet. Can I have Dee Dee? Fine. I tell you, this act can't fail. Let's get this thing up to the theater. Uh, uh, help! Someone help! Dee Dee? Connie? <laughs> oh. We are so going to jail. Oh, hush, it's a minor visiting hours infraction. Hello, Mr. Rich. You don't remember us, right? I know you. <gasps> You're my mother. <sighs> I'd recognize that purple beard anywhere. I love you, brother. That's funny. 
I'm still thirsty. Mr. Ridge, sir, who we've never met before, we have important hospital papers for you to sign. Look at all those colors. I've always wanted a blue leg. Pardon me? This one. Paint it blue or I'll hold my breath. Watch. <gasps> well, paint his leg. Are you out of your mind? People die from holding their breath. You're not defacing your high school principal with a rich latex veneer. You're saving his life. One leg. See? That was easy. Help! Someone! Throw up. If you do say ta da, so they think it's part of the act. Come here. Always let them know who you are. Okay, I killed it. Now all that's left is for your little act to flop. And now, please welcome Preston Lunford. Get out there. I know you can do it. How's everybody doing tonight? <clears throat> For my first trick, I was going to do a bird act, but my bird flew away. Not to worry. I have something here that'll help. Didi and Connie are coming. And I'm going higher, and higher, and higher, and I'm kicking. I am kicking. I think they're buying it. <laughs> Thanks for everyone, you've been such a great audience. Did you notice how he forgot his biggest trick because he didn't even bring it? Skippy Liberty, performers can be so spacey. Luckily for Preston, I'm a details person. Hey, hey. Hey. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my lovely and somewhat unexpected assistant, Deborah. For this trick, we will need a gullible volunteer. Dancy. I don't have a tiger. Don't worry, I've got something better. <clears throat> Please confirm to the audience that you don't know who I am, even though I have been in your homeroom for over four years. <laughs> Notice that the box is completely empty. Could you please step inside? We give the mystical box of cashmere one complete turn, and... <laughs> A birdie! <laughs> oh, doorbell. I'll get it. He was wonderful. That's my son up there. Oh. We missed the show. We missed the babes. I'm hungry. Oh, hello. I'd like to order a medium double cheese. You had your cell phone? Uh, no, that'll have to be for delivery. Can you believe how good we were? I can't believe you got me up there. My parents like your outfit. 
your parents? I texted them a picture of you on stage. I knew you'd be wonderful from the very first time I saw you this morning. Was that just this morning? How could all of this have happened in one day? Pretty amazing, huh? I'm a Gemini. We're intuitive. I'm glad I'm not a Taurus. I don't look good in horns. There's a performance fair coming up next week. You are aware I'm not a professional performer, right? Nobody's anything until they try. Let me help you with that. With my planning and people skills and your humongo talents, we can really improve this school. And not just with performances. We could start with the principal. Did you know he's a major magic fan? All I had to do was mention the box of cashmere and he ran right over. In fact, why stop at just the school? We could improve the whole town. Your creativity and coming through in the crunchness has made me completely rethink my future business. Instead of Big Flying Pony, sorry little six-year-old Deborah, it's going to be called Big Soaring Pony. Oh, that's so much better. My great-grandmother used to say, I got the jingles. My grandma thought it meant her shoes were too tight. But what she actually meant was, she could feel when something great was about to happen. I inherited that talent from my great Grammy. I got the tingles. Ta-da! Ta-da what? Uh, it's a long story. We missed the show. Dee Dee. What a drag, man. I was hoping with all my teenage heart to impress Dancy Cologne. Deborah. Where is Dancy? <laughs>